Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about unsolved problems. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, do unsolved problems disturb your sleep? Oh yes. In case you haven't noticed it, but the last few videos that I've made has been on sleep mode and that is because I woke up in the middle of the night about one o'clock because I couldn't get over my frustration with in this case it was not a coding problem it was a you are doing things and I don't like the things that you are doing type of problem but yes holy shit I can spend nights uh, sleepless and think about problems because this idea of comp Compartmentalization. Well, it works, but well, you wouldn't probably know it by looking at me or listening to me. But I'm a very emotional guy. If I feel that I'm very engaged in something or I'm very excited about a problem and I'm working it out in my head, it's really hard to stop because I like spending time in my head. It's a very nice place. It's very spacious. Usually, very lively at the expense of course of all the amazing things I could be doing on the outside but hey I'm I'm happy so I like uh, sitting for hours and end thinking about things which is probably the reason why I decided to be a programmer because I can get paid to do it which is really really nice I could have gone into philosophy as well but it's not as well paid I've heard and this is actually very common guys it's really difficult for a lot of software developers to just kind of leave work at work because it's uh, well it sort of comes with the territory the it's your job to figure out a problem and it's really 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 hard to stop thinking about that problem just because office hours are over and Sometimes it's a little bit of a mixed blessing because some problems require. I guess is the difficult part with estimations on certain things because certain things are so complicated that you can't really just cut off and say, "Hey, it's going to be this tricky to solve that problem" because it requires a lot of brain power to think through, and it's very often, especially when you come to the higher levels of uh, programming, where it's time to be like architect an architect and like all of that stuff it is it's very difficult for you to just plug out because you have so many things and this is why a lot of people get burnt out that's why it's having a very very good strong foundation in taking care of your body eating correctly stressing like you you know low stress environments all of this stuff like you doing mindfulness i don't care what it is you have to de uh, like de deflate all the pent up stuff that's going to come your way because when your career starts being more and more about it's not just about you coding you think coding is stressful you just wait until the coding that you do is just one of the things that you have to be ashamed of or like <laughs> that you put on the line you're not just coding for yourself you're coding to teach others or making decisions that have potentially an like, impact on like the entire company that you're dealing with and the higher up you go in your some of the decisions that you are part of making are literally I mean I can just imagine the poor president of the North America and like well of course anybody who is like in office and so forth where the decisions that you make have massive impact on a lot of people and it's really really tough to just kind of switch that off and so finding a good strategy for learning how to do that is a very good thing it doesn't always work um, and so uh, even though most of most of the time you, you, uh, you have good at least I do I find that I have a lot of good days uh, because usually the well that's the nice thing of of sort of learning enough so that you can make a good decisions because usually you know you feel very confident in that you made a good decision and usually these decisions turn out well sometimes they don't and then you kind of just have to you know be a little bit upset about it but if you know that you had 
all the right intentions and all like did the right thing going in, it becomes easier to sleep. Sometimes it's impossible, like with, as I was saying, like uh, uh, for me the other night, it was very like it's hard to just fall asleep because you're constantly going over in your head like okay how can I solve this how could I done this differently where are there better ways of solving it etc etc uh, and sometimes you just have to kind of bite the bullet and wake up go back and like sit at your computer or in my case lie in the bathtub try to fall asleep there and just get through another work day and then the next time you hit the pillow it's probably gonna be you're probably gonna be so tired that you don't give a shit anymore and that is the sweet spot my friend so what I want you to take away from this is that you you have, yes I definitely have problems sleeping uh, because I have like things that either it's a problem that I can't solve or like I have a stakeholder or a customer or someone like that who is super annoying and I have to deal with them somehow uh, because that is just another sort of problem to deal with for me or sometimes I'm very excited about an idea I have for a personal project or something like that and compartmentalization is actually very difficult uh, sometimes uh, if you're especially if you're passionate about the thing that you're doing and for software developers it's very common that you can't really stop thinking about your code even when you're off work like you're always thinking about things in some fashion and that's why I tell you that it's a very good investment for you to learn to uh, like adopt a few habits that sort of helps you with stress pent up stress and things like that make sure that your exercise walks unless you haven't noticed that is a big favorite of mine just go out get some fresh air walk it off it helps a lot scientifically proven I've heard uh, make sure that you're eating correctly, make sure that you have some type of other people or some way of like kind of distracting yourself from the thing that you're thinking about because if you find other things engaging that distract you it's very difficult to stay continue thinking about the thing uh, if you can do that sort of thing and then just realize that uh, the best medicine for a good night's sleep even if you have a lot of problems that you're thinking about is to wear yourself out to the damn point where you just don't give a shit anymore it's just heaven to hit that pillow and fall asleep because sleep time should be the best time after a good day of ex achieving stuff uh, and building up uh, that personal strength that I'm such a, f a fan of have a great day